Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Sir, I'm sorry I can't let you through here. Now please turn around and leave. Right now. Hello, and welcome to the Global Innovation Race. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Good. You are clean and good to go. Don't forget, this race is all about getting some miles under the roof. It's as much about the car as it is about the drivers. Yeah. 
I need to see that invitation, sir. Kronstadt is now one mechanic short. That's perfect. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. Quite a big chance, man. I want to get out of this race, and your stuff here. Hey, do you for drinks Just afterwards relax. and shenanigans? You're gonna be here a while.
You can just feel the tension in the air. Now this is a good, clean family show for to make no mistake. At the end of the day, it's all about winning. And Moses Lee and Sierra Knox neck and neck. Berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra Suit. I don't give a rat's ass about it. Kind to one another. Unless they're caught. The entire week. And I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last hit star. Mm -hmm. Well, if you decide otherwise, I'll be down by the path. It's a completely different surface. Luck, I mean, you start on the concrete, then you hit the pavement, and the change in grip is, it's just amazing. Unbelievable! Is he a friend of yours? Didn't think so. Hey, idiot! Okay, I'm done. Security will deal with you. John, it's Grace. Look, I'm in a deep hole. One of my guys just jumped ship and I need a replacement ASAP. Are you available? Shit. All right, got him. You, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it, got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pick stop and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine. Let's do this. John, it's great. Look, I'm in a deep hole. One of my guys just jumped ship and I need to replace him with ASAP. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations, now! Everyone still has their feet. 
or something. Did you know that owls can't move their eyes either? Yeah, that's why they're always turning their whole thing. Like that. did understand why Sierra was going to this whole day job thing. Yeah. I mean, CFO of Comstock, sure. It sounds like yeah. Quality pharmaceuticals 
at prices you can afford. I'm telling you, Miss Knox is going to be pissed. I did the pre-race checkup on her and, well, let's just say she's got a bad case of intermittent explosive disorder. Poor Dr. Sorensen. First, he almost loses a patient to a seemingly harmless case of dehydration. Now, he has to deal with this guy suffering from urinary retention. <laughs> Not his day. Let's just hope he doesn't somehow screw up the revitalization procedure. race IV vitamin boost. I don't want to keep her winning. Mr. Durant, I appreciate that you have a shy bladder and all, but really, we, we need to move this along. If you cannot deliver a sample, I have no choice but the failure test. You're not really helping here, Doc. Go, go, go. Find out what that was. Copy that. What?
Can't be easy to be on the Kronstadt security. The Knox family must have a lot of enemies. Ready when you are. We are good. I'm here now, ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but, um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost them in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye bye money. I don't know. I'm, 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 Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been to any of these races before, but it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret demo upstairs in the expo building, but it's off limits, apparently. Yeah, Robert Knox owns the whole thing. He straight up just bought it before the race. Downstairs is okay, upstairs, mm, not so much. Any idea what he's doing in there? I heard he's demoing the next big thing coming out of Kronstadt, but only to big money people. No chance to get in, I'm afraid. Well, that's a shame. Would have been nice to be able to break a story like that on my first run. Dream on, pal. Oh, the journalist. I'm afraid my response. 
protocols have not been set properly for an interview at this time. Please enjoy the rest of your day. The Veneer Servobot was the first consumer-oriented robotics project created by Kronstadt Industries. It's a beautiful a cleaner movie. robot by trade. I used to it's not a movie earlier that we're just supposed to grab it if something happens to it. No poking around the engine or anything like that. Yeah, Nox is a genuine technical genius. He's really protective about his projects. Prefers to fix everything himself, apparently. Don't worry about grabbing him, though. If anything goes awry, you'll see him down here as fast as lightning. Gotcha. Robert Knox has a race car on display in the Expo building. The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's wheels. I know. Wouldn't happen if you were there, that's for sure. I would have stood up and told him exactly what I thought of his stupid ideas. No problem, you can buy my side. Mr. Knox would totally fall. Oh, you don't know that's good. I get to feel good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I worked near here, I ate lunch here every day. You guys have been talking to me. I'm standing behind me 
yesterday, he talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. The vendor, known as Florida Man, sells extremely addictive food, so we should expect Knox to return. Maybe this is a way to catch Knox away from his office. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's well, most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. The new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline and respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right. I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Good afternoon, sir. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47? Hmm. What are you thinking? Greetings, sir. Mr. Mendez? Right this way, sir. Oh, 
HR? Yes, it's Ben Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Uh, listen, I realize this may sound trivial, but the Fountain View soda dispenser has been on the fritz since you moved in. I can't work without my energy. It's right in here, Mr. Mendez. Mr. Mendez. Uh, Robert, it's Derek. Mr. Mendez is here already. He's eager to get on with the demo. You should come by as soon as possible. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. How you bet? Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blunt world. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace will do the rest. Cars acquired, WB. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the... T What's the holdup, Mendez? Just scan one of the pictures. Target says Robert Knox. Damn. Yeah, help. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Yeah, we need some security and paramedics here. I don't know, it's a mess.
Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary. A veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on. But before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 